walking beneath a live oak that's part of a grove of live oaks planted more than two and a half centuries ago by one of the earliest owners of plantations that stood on this site on the bluffs of the Ogeechee River for a couple of hundred years prior to the arrival of Henry Ford in the early 1900s. Henry Ford selected this site as his winter home and I'm actually standing on a spot that in all likelihood was trod by Harvey Firestone, Thomas Edison, and other dignitaries of the day. They were frequent visitors here during the winter. Today, nearly 400 families are privileged to enjoy the same beauty that Henry Ford, Messrs. Firestone, and Edison enjoyed, and they call it home. Daily life here is like grown-up camp. Uh, we have naturalists, we have fishing operation, we have the shooting operation, the sports barn, the golf, the spa, the tennis. Uh, it's just a fantastic place. There's never a dull moment. Well, for example, this weekend we've got uh, pony rides for kids, we've got a golf tournament, we have our club championship tennis uh, round robin, we've got an uh, oyster roast tonight that we'll have about 135 people at, and it's going to be a great weekend. We dug an oyster pit, and uh, we're right along the Ogeechee River, which is a beautiful setting for us. Uh, we're getting this fired up. We've got about an hour and 20 minutes before we start our oyster roast. You won't get bored here at all with a lack of things to do. And we have just a terrific staff that maintains all these amenities. And, uh, and, it, and it really makes you want to go out and do something instead of sitting in the house. It's, uh, it's a terrific place. As it stands today, uh, it's full service golf. There are other uh, amenities, obviously. The, um, we have golf tournaments. Um, we, we do golf lessons. We do about 9,000 rounds a year. And, and probably won't get too much busier than that. We uh, don't have any tee times, and it's, it's, uh, it's a normal golf experience, but uh, with, with beautiful surroundings. The marina cottages are fantastic. The views of the golf course and the water are unbelievable, and it's such a great value. The principal design challenge that we faced was the fact that the eight lots on which we're building the marina cottages are interior lots. We had to figure out a way to reconnect those homes with these magnificent water and marsh views you see behind me. We employed three techniques. First, we carefully oriented each of the homes relative to one another and to the homes across the street. Secondly, we used 12 foot, 11 foot, and 10 foot ceilings on each of the floors as we raised the homes. And third, we made extensive use of glass, particularly movable glass partition walls on the third story tower rooms. One of the design elements of the marina cottages is that we have tried to unify the architecture and actually create a village within a village. At the same time, we want the interior of the homes to each have their own signature architectural flavor. We've done this a number of ways. We've made extensive use of different woods. We've got mahogany, we have teak, we have pecky cypress, we have clear cypress, we have reclaimed pine. We've also used different stones from around the area. We've made extensive use of marble, granite, and imported tiles in the kitchens and the baths. In the kitchens, we have unique appliance packages employing wolf, viking, and sub-zero. All of these make the interior of these homes unique to each one. We mentioned the unique architectural challenge posed by these interior lots. How are we going to reconnect these homes to the surrounding environment? The answer became the signature architectural feature of the marina cottages, which are the tower rooms. And the tower rooms themselves have what we believe are the signature design feature of the home, which are these movable mahogany and glass window walls that you see surrounding me. This system enables us to turn conditioned space into a gazebo-like open air space with a 270 degree panoramic view of the surrounding area. It's a wonderful space that can be used for entertaining, a studio, office space, a game room. It's the ultimate reconnection to Lake Clara and the Ogeechee River and the surrounding marshes.
We think you'll really love this space. The views from the third floor tower room are awesome, but for those folks who want to go higher, we offer the option of a fourth story widow's walk that's accessed by this custom built spiral staircase. The views from the widow's walk are incredible, truly breathtaking. Behind me is the Ogeechee Outfitters and the entrance to our marina. We have the ability to accommodate boats of up to 60 feet in length, and Outfitters is the launching point for expeditions on the Ogeechee River and Lake Clara. There's wonderful boating and fishing inside Lake Clara, which was originally a rice paddy and has since been filled in and we use it for recreational activities. The Ogeechee River is a direct waterway access about 45 minutes upstream from the Atlantic Ocean. Savannah lies approximately 30 miles to the northeast from here. One of the things we became cognizant of very early in the development of this project was the legacy that had been entrusted to us. These views that you see behind me have been here since the dawn of time. Henry Ford was taken aback by the beauty of the place, as were we. And we made a commitment amongst ourselves to be sure that what we left here would be something that our children, our grandchildren, and their grandchildren could come back and look and say, these folks were really sensitive to what they'd been entrusted with and really did a great job in making this a place that somebody could call home for generations. The people here are equally as attractive as the landscape itself. It's the diversity and the hearts and the minds and the dedicated members that live here uh, that really make the place special. When I got here, I was blown away by the beauty of the, uh, the plantation and, and everything that it had to offer. So it was a, it was a done deal. Thanks very much for taking the past couple of minutes to visit with us here at the Ford Plantation. I hope this brief video has given you an opportunity to understand the incredible beauty and magic that's been drawing people to this spot on the Ogeechee River for more than 250 years. Those of us who are active today in continuing to develop this beautiful site believe that we are truly guardians, trustees, stewards of this magical place. I hope you'll have the opportunity to visit with us in person and to see the special magic that we believe we're creating with the marina cottages here at the Ford Plantation. Thanks again. <laughs>